I got to really see. I saw it one time and I couldn't tell what it was. Oh, that's a big bass. <laughs> oh, man. Feels so weird to hold the camera again. Haven't held one since the classic. Turkey season for me officially ended this morning. That means it's time to go fishing again. And uh, that's exactly what we're going to do. That's what I've been doing after hunting every morning. I've been stopping at this, this beautiful place behind us. You guys will see more of it in a minute. And catching hella fish feels just like old times. It's just like, you know, summertime in high school. Remember those days, Chad? I miss those days. Those were the days, man. We had we had graduation practice five years ago today. What a time that was. I'm gonna quit rambling though. We gotta we gotta go catch some fish. It's been a hot minute. So like this culvert has been draining water faster than this but there's still fish hiding in these little eddies. You can catch them over there, you can catch them over here too. Water's gone up since this morning too. I was here. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. I told you, man. I told you, man, they here. Oh, that's a skipper. He caught you a little skipjack. Perfect release. <laughs> Works for me. So this is a little Walmart, little Walmart secret. And I don't know why nobody ever talks about these. But these holographic shads, whatever they're called, I don't, they're mirror image shads. But anyway, God, this is a workout. Back in the day, me and Chad used to catch absolute giants on these in water that looks just like this. Yeah, so the plan is to do it again. Also, she got this cute little snake. Little snakey snake. Hey, your buddy. I'm gonna grab you. Oh. Oh, bye, buddy. Yeah, that's the that's a strat right there. These are these these things catch them. They're just so sexy. These baits, sexy, AF, Chad. And they catch fish just like I'm about to do. Ready? Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, sh there's two of y'all. I'm gonna get one, Chad. I'm gonna bring them to you. I swear to God, There's two of them. Hey, hey, he's coming right towards you, Chad. Walk right off. <laughs> he ain't gonna hurt. They ain't gonna hurt you. They're just water snakes, man. I don't care. They're not gonna bother you. I don't care. They're not gonna hurt you in any way, shape, or form. Hey, look. There's another one. Where, bud? Kendall, I swear to God. I love nature. I even like wasps. I hate dealing with them, but, you know, they're cool. They're nifty. I don't know what, what they do. I'm sure they do something. Well, Gotta be something to do with insects. What is the purpose of a wasp? <laughs> we gotta Google it. According to Frontiers for Young Minds, wasps provide us with free, eco-friendly natural pest control services. In a world without wasps, we would need to use more toxic pesticides to control the insects that eat our crops and carry diseases. Wasps also pollinate. Told you it was, it had to be insects. Ooh, I just got smacked. Fish. Oh god. Oh god, we got us. What do we got? A little spotted bass. Yeah, I'm telling you, that's where they like to get it in that little eddy. This is a spot and he ate it sideways. 
Oh, they over here with me, Chad. You see that? Little spotted bass, man. You don't catch. We don't catch a lot of spots anymore, but they got. They got a few. They got a very much smaller mouth than the uh, large mouths, and they got a different pattern too. But nobody ever talks about that. They're so pretty, though. Bye, bud. Spots are a very uh, current-oriented fish, and there's current here, so makes sense. And there's a snake right there. Remember how I used to be able to feel them kind of coming up behind the swim bait and I just knew? I remember that. I remember that now. I remember how it feels. Jesus Christ, I was, I don't even think I was reeling it. Chad, are you hooked up? Oh my God, what do I have? I don't even know what I got. It might be the way it's rolling around, I can't tell. I can't tell what this is. We're about to find out, I hope. I just wanna see it, I don't care if I catch it, I just wanna know what this is, cause this feels heavy. What is it? Come up, fool. Let me see you. I just want to know what it is. I don't even care to catch it. It's probably a carp. It don't feel like a carp though. It feels, it feels like a stripe. Oh, I couldn't tell what that was. Whatever it is, it's big. It's, we're going. I haven't even got to really see. I saw it one time and I couldn't tell what it was. Oh, that's a big bass, I think. If that's a bass, that's a giant. Oh my God. I got six or eight pound line on here. I gotta be careful. Oh, wait, it looks like a cat. It might be a cat, hold on. Did it? I can't tell what it is. It's doing the little head bob like a cat. It's a cat. You just caught a catfish, really? I think I did. That looked like a cat. That's because that's a cat. It's a good cat. Wow. It's a flathead. That's why I ate it. It's a flathead. No, it's not. That's a channel. What? Okay. When are we buying a net? It's not even a big cat. It just felt big. God. I'm afraid to stick my hand in here with all these snakes rolling around. Jesus Christ. What an adventure that was. <laughs> so I brought my basket and the stringer. You, you want him? Sure. It's a good sized cat. Might be the only one you get. Okay Chad's going to keep the kitty cat. We're filling up to it later. We might make this a little impromptu uh, catch clean cook video. You know what I'm saying? Maybe go throw it on the grill. You gonna throw it on the grill, Chad? Sure. Oh, that would be bomb right now. <laughs> I could go, I could, I can vibe with that. Well. Ain't throw the own old yig around in a minute.
I'm about to hang it in a tree so hard. All the way in the tree, dog. Oh, that was gorgeous. Wow. Let's see if I can recreate that over here. Nope. Kind of sucks, man. Couldn't get him to eat the egg. Good old, good old juice jig, the flipping, flipping jig, whatever it is, Guggen jig. You know, it never works 100% of the time. Well, it did that one year. That one year you just, I don't know how you did it. I think it was, what? I think it was like right after we got out of high school, like 18, 19, something like that. You just kept throwing that damn jig around all the time and kept catching fish on it. I want I a tournament. I want an online tournament flipping and jigging around. That was in 2016. Was it? It was. it was after we got out of school. No, I had short blonde hair and it was springtime. So it was 16. Yeah, that was 16. Good times though. I won like $50 in an online tournament with that. Woo. Yeah, I know. The funny thing is, it was a week long tournament and for the first week I didn't have a single fish. And then I was just screwing around. I was like, let's just go flip it in these bushes that are in two inches of water. And I catch the biggest stringer of bass I've ever caught in my life. It do be like that sometimes. But hey, I got my off them hat. Oh, wait. I need my on them hat because I, like, I feel like I'm on them. Well, see, as soon as you go put the on them hat on, we won't catch any more fish. That's a fact. <laughs> I'm thinking this is where we end today's episode. It's been a good one. It's a good one to start back off with. Caught a cool fish. Caught a little little spot. Played with some snakes. Watch Chad get freaked out by some snakes. Why don't you like snakes? I, you know, it's a good question. You know, a lot mm. of people they have the issue of they're afraid of them because they don't understand them. But I say I'd fairly understand snakes fairly well, honestly, especially with Luke. Since he has that one, he's been telling me all sorts of crazy stuff about snakes I didn't even know, but it's not Is that there like an underlying fear that you don't know about? I believe so. I believe that's what it is, but I'm not sure. Now we know. Chad's definitely afraid of snakes. I'm going to, uh, to end this one right here, boys and girls. It's, uh, it's been a good one to get back in the swing of things. Hopefully my boat will get out of the shop fairly soon. It's been there for like a month now, and, uh, Maybe we'll, we'll get some on the water videos back up and up and going again. It's been way too long. It's been a heck of a break, but I think we're back. I'm hoping that we're back. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later. <laughs>